here they are the new setups isn't that freaking what's up youtube sorry i didn't put anything out in the morning and sorry i did not get that huge epic unboxing out on the weekend um the the package got a little delayed so we'll be getting it shortly later this week but i'm still gonna show you guys so don't worry they'll be here soon other than that real quick before we get into today's vlog did you guys check out brian cusco's video holy moly man that thing was freaking intense dude i freaking loved it brian dude your editing skills are seriously like second to none and like you're like the casey nightstand in the reptile industry i'm more like the brian burchick of well, Mexican Brian Burchick of the Reptile. That kind of, yeah. You'll be the case of Nice I'll be the Brian Burchick. <laughs> that works out. Okay, so um, real quick, guys. Go check out Brian Cusco's blog. I'm going to put the link to the, in the description down below so you guys can go check out that gangster video. He comes to the house and does some cool, cool stuff. So check it out. The reason why I have scissors is today we have two packages we're going to unbox. So let's get to that right now. All right, so first package is... <laughs> from Mike McGrath and man, I wish I could block what it says but it says let me see if I get that on here come on come on Miguel Miguel Mi Amor Garcia damn I think Mike and I are dating now Woo. stickers I love opening stuff <laughs> oh snap Brian Cusco since you did not marry me I just got asked to if I would marry Mike check this out Will you marry me? Yes, Mike, I will marry you. Done and done. Now just get a little ring right here. Dude, thanks for the cards, thanks for the stickers. Here's another one of his cards right there. Whoa, whoa. So freaking awesome. You guys, make sure you guys go check out Mike. He has some really, really cool stuff, man. And put some awesome pictures up on his Instagram. He needs to get back to vlogging though, man. Mike, when are you gonna get back to vlogging? Oh my gosh, dude. These are the new shirts. Dude, check this out. Okay, let's do a quick shirt change. Ready? Oh man, look at these things. These things are freaking bad. They're freaking awesome. <laughs> Damn, shows the guns off pretty good, tight on the biceps. Damn, that's what I'm talking about, man. Dude, this shirt's freaking sick, man. I really, really like this one. Like the other one too, but this one I have to say is my favorite one for sure. And they got some other shirts in there too. So. I can usually tell by the sizes who they'll be from. So small, this for sure is for Tina. Thank you, Mike. Medium. This one should be for my punk brother. Oops. Sorry about that, I had to bleep that out. But yeah, this should be for my brother. Dude, these shirts are freaking awesome, man. I'm keeping this one on. Yeah, it brings out the shoulders off too. Woo. All right, on to the next, pa next package. So this one right here is actually from PV Reptiles. I'm also gonna put his Instagram information on the link on the description down below. Wow. Dang. Damn, this is, whew, sorry about that. Um, this is probably one of the coolest things I have ever gotten in my life. Um, can't really talk too much about the details on it, but um, so this is, you know, obviously our flag, you know, United States, America right here. It means a lot more than just just the flag though, just, uh, wow. Let me, I need, whew, I need to make sure I'm um, able to talk more about this, but this is seriously so freaking awesome. And the framing I'm gonna get done with this for this flag is just going to be one of the most epic things ever. And PV Reptiles, wow, man. Thank you very much, dude. Seriously, from my family to yours, man, I, I'm honestly speechless, wow. I'm gonna take a little break real quick. I need I need to go share this with my family real quick. And like I said, uh, I'll get back to you guys in the next vlog about this flag. Um, wow, man, that's that's insane. Thank you, man. Thank you. I'll be back in a few, guys. All right, guys, I'm back, man. I had a little 
Had a little, had to take a little minute off right there, man. That was definitely a, an amazing, amazing package, man. Again, I wish I could talk more about it, but I will, I will come back to it in a couple of, um, in a couple of months, maybe a couple of weeks, who knows. But I had to share it with the wife and kids, and man, PV Reptiles, dude, thank you very much. I, I, like I'm telling you, man, I had to hold back a little. That, I mean, that was so, I don't even, I can't even say I'm so like in shock right now. Just, man, so freaking awesome. Uh, Mike McGrath, also, man, thank you for these awesome shirts. The wife says, um, thank you. Jesse doesn't say thank you because Jesse's kind of rude and, you know, if you want, I'll definitely lay hands on him. But, um, guys, please go check out Mike McGrath on his Instagram. It's going to be on the bottom down in the description down below. Make sure you guys go check out his YouTube. He vlogs probably like twice a year. Hopefully he gets a little on top of that. <laughs> Just playing. The thing is, that guy, when he vlogs, he does some cool videos, but lately he's been MIA. And please go check out PB Reptiles. I'll put his uh, Instagram in the description down below. Thank you guys very much. Okay, so for today's vlog, we are actually going to do a quick little room tour. I was gonna wait till we fully done everything um, how I wanted to, but I'm just gonna, you know, we worked so hard on this display um, yesterday, and I just wanted to give you guys kind of an idea and what the plans are for um, Always Evolving Pythons until we get our new home or if we build our new home, depending on what we do this year, because we're running out of space, but we're definitely going to change a couple things up. And then I'm going to show you guys the hatchlings. We just cut some eggs. It should be on in a couple of days. And I'm going to show you guys the snakes that we got from Brian Burchick also. So real quick, let's show you guys the room, upgraded room. Well, maybe I should get a little more specific. So we totally fixed up and hooked up and completely modified the Amazon tree boa and the green tree python. These guys literally went from like a little condo to a straight up mansion. This thing is freaking epic. And the, what we did with it, it's so freaking cool. Tina the turtle is the one that really got into it and hooked it up. I did a little work on it, of course. And um, yeah, and then we moved a couple of things around. But let's go check this things out. Here they are, the new setups. Isn't that freaking sweet? I got this custom made. Right here is where Venom's gonna go. We have, uh, we just, it has little holes back there so we can put a heat pad in the bottom right there. And that's where he's gonna be. It's still gonna be kind of like if he's in a, in a tub, because you know, he'll be able to get the, the daylight and nighttime. Um, so it'll be really, really cool. Don't know what we're gonna put in here, but then we have the cabinets there. But this is it right here, guys. Let's get a closer look. Let me get some better light. The cool thing about it is that we have all, everything on the timer as far as the lights and we also have these little misters that spray out every 30 minutes. Um, and it depends how much, I mean, humidity we want to build up. We're, again, we're just testing everything out. So, I mean, it's just so much cool, especially for these snakes because they need more humidity. And also, did you notice there's little fish tanks on the side of it just to kind of give it a cooler look? It's so freaking awesome and well freaking made. Again, man, I mean, Please let me know what you guys think about it. Um, we're not fully done yet, but definitely get in there. And it's so cool because they're in there, but they're all back there. One of them's right there and the other one's around there somewhere. But once they get comfortable, they'll be out there hanging out and stuff. But it gives them more, you know, places to hide and, you know, feel more at home. So freaking cool, man. I love it. Let me know what all you right, guys let's think. Let's do an update on the babies. So they've all had two meals already. This right here is the pastavi. Right here we have a mojave. The mojo cypress male. Mojo cypress 
female. Hey, could you guys believe she still hasn't shed yet? So crazy. Everyone else has shed and ate besides that one. Another Mojo Cypress. The odds were just crazy on this one. Regular Cypress with regular Cypress, but look how clean it is, man. No alien heads whatsoever. This one's actually going to my good friend. Can't tell you guys who it is yet. And the the world's first Cypress Pastavi. Look how cleaned out that thing is. So freaking epic. And again, we remember this used to be right over here, but we totally switched that up. We got the crested gecko up there. And you see guys, everything's changed up for him. He has a lot higher space to go up and climb and stuff. So you gecko fans that were sending me those mean messages. Um, again, but a lot, everything's still gonna get changed up here. The octopus is right there. Doing well and alive and eating like a freaking monster, man. This guy just eats and eats and eats. But as you can see, I'm right there just chilling. We have nothing there anymore. Then we have the racks. Then we have the new setup. Let's go check the incubator. We have some babies there. A lot of them already came out of their eggs. Just do an update on those in a couple of days. All right guys, so that's the update on everything here. Again, I'm gonna get more um, footage once the room and the, um, the garage is done and once this room's completely done. And also all the snakes that I got from Brian also already ate their first meals here. So they're all doing really, really good. They're up in the quarantine area. So we'll get them down here in a few weeks, maybe a month. Um, other than that, man, this, everything else is doing really good. The, the clutch we just cut, man, the odds again were in our favor. Um, couldn't be happier. From what we see and what we know, I think we hit another world first. So let's cross our fingers and next vlog will definitely be an update on, will definitely be the second clutch that we cut at AEP. So again guys, other than that man, appreciate all of the support. Until next time, bye.